Hey, check it. If you're watching this duck sauce on YouTube, I need you to subscribe. Please. Believe that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can get all the notifications. I drop a new vlog every Thursday, every week. Strong. You understand what I'm saying? And I love y'all for just tuning in and, and, and just vibing with me. You feel me? Halos, please. Oh. Now let's get back to the sauce. Hey, what's that? It's your boy, Papa Duck. And if you don't know who I am, you ask me to learn today. I done done songs with some of the top rappers in the game, like Gucci Man, Rick Ross, Lil Boost, Trina. I done did beats for Ply, and the list goes on and on. But right now, you tune in Duck Sauce. Nigga, quack, quack. <laughs> What's happening, bitch? This is Duck Sauce 11. Bitch, yeah. and listen, I'm finna get to y'all blood motherfucker raw. <laughs> blood motherfucker raw, like I always do every motherfucking week. You feel me? And shout out to everybody that been fucking with me since day one. Believe that. Like I say, don't go no motherfucker well. Ow. Sit your ass down. Huh? So I'm finna give y'all the motherfucking sauce. Bitch, yeah. here you talking about. Let her listen to Uncle. We see that uncle. <laughs> now y'all know I got all kind of women. They love me, no matter how old they is. Yo. So that means I got a couple cougars on my motherfucking trip. You feel what I'm saying? But without further ado, I'm gonna entertain this woman. Cause she's still a woman at the end of the motherfucking day. Even though she's a cougar. We the best. <laughs> You should know that song, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got it upside down, too. Oh! Okay, huh? This is that This is our own. Okay, now. Okay, now. Well, that was you listening to an encore. My hit record. Oh, my God. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck. Listen, yeah. I'm finna do my first artist showcase. So if you can rap, sing, skip, hop, a motherfucking dance, Bird. I need your ass in the motherfucking building. Uh -huh. You understand me? And I'm bringing the best of the best, man. Straight talent. This is a real showcase, man. I'm giving away real prizes, Bitch. studio time, Bitch. promotional T-shirt, trophies, Bitch. motherfucking radio interviews, man. Hey. If you rap, sing. I don't care what you do, I need you in the building. We're looking for videographers, producers, and all that as well. What? And like I say, if you know anybody that can do this, anybody you believe in, your sister, your cousin, your brother, your next door neighbor, your uncle, it don't matter. Hey. Have them to sign up for this artist showcase. Because I'm telling you, this is the best of the best. You understand me? Yeah. So stay tuned. Woo. And I'm going to give you all the information to the first Papa Duck annual artist Showcase. Is that right? Don't go nowhere. I got you, baby. Straight up. I'll teach you the game, youngin'. So we here at the radio station. I'm here with, you already see him, Sage Street. And we at this radio station. We do a radio interview and get to it and do it. And here we go. Hello. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Right. Hi, beautiful producer. Yes. Yeah, I'll get up. <laughs> What's going on? Also, What's up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they told oh, me man. Oh, man. So oh, man. I love to see women into this music business industry, however you want to put it in, what you want to call it, especially when she is old. Yeah, I'm talking about. I mean, we just made it here, so, you know, we. We get set up. <sighs> you know how it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So. And we're here with Mercedes. I already know the players. 
<laughs> Somebody just walked up, man. What's going on, my brother? What's up, my brother? What's nice going on? You. Nice to meet you, too. Last time I saw you was uh, Miami Music Festival. Oh, that's been a minute. Ago. Yeah, that's been a minute. Yeah, that's been a minute. Yeah, been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Man, listen, man. This is another quack tip, duck tip, whatever you want to call it. Listen, if you performing on stage, this is what you want to do, man. Don't perform the long song that everybody don't really know. Cause then they gonna be like on their phone looking around, they not paying attention. Just do a verse and a hook and put skits in between your songs to keep the, the crowd engaged to what you're doing, man. This is a performance. This is entertainment, you understand me? Yeah. So you get up there rapping and you don't even know it sounds good, they don't know it. Keep them entertained. Ask some questions. Ask them who got the best puss in the crowd. Who got all the money in the, who the dope boys got all the money out. You gotta engage with the crowd. You understand what I'm saying? You master that, you're gonna have a hell of a good show. Yeah. And they gonna put you above all the rest of the peers. I wanna be like you. So listen, and pay close attention. <laughs> Next, the motherfucker sucks. <laughs> Game. You yeah. done seen things change. You done seen so much. I've learned from you. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely learned a lot from you. We learned from each other. Mm -hmm. There you go. From each other. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah. so, your perspective on on you know this young man, twenty years old, his life just got snuffed out. Right. You know, how you feel about that? Um, I mean, it's definitely sad because dealing with hip hop, you know, people always speak on hip hop as a bad thing and. This is one of the results of it. This is the only genre of music where it's just so much chaotic. It's very influential, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of negativity, and this is some of the results of that. Of that negativity. And I ain't gonna lie, like, yeah. when I do radio interviews, man, I just let it, I, I tell it like it is, you know what I'm saying? Cause I just feel like I ain't finna waste my time bullshitting and, 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 and playing, spreading all this, you know, false information, so. Like I say, man, every radio interview I do be interesting because I give it to you blood raw. That's that's sad. It's really beyond him, and, it, and it's sad that I say that, but it's, it's, it's a lot of people that's mentally dead because of the hip-hop. Okay. Like, let's be honest. Like, it's a lot of people that just, they're not going to... You know, you know, following that type of music, and you know that only leads to that type of violence, right, that type right. of activity. So I, I, like you say, I seen it go from educational to flossing to just straight murking. There's no, yeah. there's no balance there's anymore. No, exactly. Hey, this is another quack tip. You understand? What I'm trying to say, listen, man, very important. When you go into the studio, man. Do not bring nobody or nothing that's going to scrap you, man. This is your motherfucking craft, man. Okay, then. You go into that motherfucking studio, man, everything shut down, man. You go in there, you think this is a mental game. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Don't be, don't worry about who you old lady. I don't mess, don't worry about it. Man, shut it all off, bro. Because at the end of the day, bro, you got to get you. You understand what I'm saying? So when you go there, you don't need no homeboy around you, that's bullshit. Huh. You don't need no nigga trying to get you to smoke and look at this on Instagram. Man, go in there and have your motherfucking business, man. You got that? You feel me? Trust me. You're going to get your money's worth, and you're going to feel better later on. You understand me? And that is the sauce, bitch. <laughs> See, man, y'all got I gotta lighten up a little bit, man. You gotta love life a little bit. You feel what I'm trying to say? No matter what you got going on, you gotta vibe a little bit. That's why I like my dog Tunchi, man. That's my motherfucking dog. No matter where we go, my dog just live her life. She don't give a fuck what's going on. She don't care what it is. You gotta live your life. Lighten up a little bit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, Tunchi. <laughs> If this your motherfucking birthday month and you logged on to this motherfucking duck sauce, man, this is here for you. Shots out to you. 
Happy motherfucking birthday. I wanna see that birthday cake. Little thing on a birthday shit. Fucking up and bitch birthday, bitch. And the girl with your birthday, bitch. Take a shot for his birthday. I'm trying to get you back home with your birthday, bitch. It's time to get birthday drunk. I'm talking about birthday song. Get it over to your birthday song. Let it just come up. So your birthday drunk. One time for the birthday, bitch. Two times for the birthday, bitch. Three times for the birthday, bitch. Fuck it up and bitch your birthday, bitch. Fuck it up and bitch your birthday, bitch. already know what it is baby you got to eat to live not live to eat and today's menu i'm cooking stream bean yellow rice and smothered chicken you already know that's the black man steak bitch i don't know what we got we got stream beans yellow rice. my type of cornbread i love cooking like that smothered chicken Chicken. Ooh, bitch. You know, you, you you said you said the hip hop has changed. How have you seen it change? Um, from a lot of aspects. From um, financially, it ain't like it used to be. It used to be <laughs> no know? doubt, no doubt. So, uh, definitely financially. Um, and just the technology. You know, from you know, went from hand to hand combat mm -hmm. to like just sit home in my underwear and. Exactly. And you can get a fan base like that. Or you can run down the street in your underwear like to not now just take that. <laughs> yes, I was gonna get on that. You know, it went from you know, now it seems more like a the, the more flamboyant and fugazi and the more it's like tap dance for for the king. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's a lot yeah. of stuff I'm not gonna do just to get in the rap game. But nowadays it's like people would rather see you pick up dog poop. They actually educate you on something. Exactly. And, and they get more views on mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So they not, and that, you can relate that to the music. Like it's, it's the corny ones, it's the cook, the gimmicky ones, the you know the trolling, and all that. That's I never thought I'd see that. But one of the biggest things I thought I'd never see that everybody sound like I never thought I'd see I that. Know. Especially I know. when. Hey, listen, man. Do not forget. Go sign up to plugmatch.com. What? Shout out to everybody that done signed up so far, man. We see all the people that signing up. Hey. And everybody plugging in. If you want to plug in with artists, huh. rappers, huh. DJs, huh. Um, managers, videographers, it don't matter, man. We built this site for y'all. Plugmatch.com. Go sign up right now. Get on your phone. Took us two years to build this site. Is that right? So jump on it, and we did it for y'all. You got that? And go ahead and plug in, man. Y'all hit me up. I'm on that too. And I forgot, when you plug in, you get a chance to win a free verse from me. And not only are we going to do the verse, we're going to shoot the video. Yeah. Plugmatch.com. What you waiting on? Go on the plug in. I'll teach you the game, you Y'all already know what it is. We off in this motherfucker. You feel me? We're in the studio. The dog finna drop something for you motherfuckers. You understand me? Duck sauce style, goddammit. Yo, hey. See, I really stayed down for this shit, and I gotta go harder than ever. Yeah, I came from the bottom, I'm covered in dirt. Ain't nobody ever won't give me work. Like, fuck, I'm all running it up. You nigga can't come on from. See, I gotta go harder than ever. Fuck a nigga, quit the switch of schedule. Ayy, hey, can't fuck with you nigga, hate to see me winning. Same face for the block in the trenches. All of my nigga posted with a stanchion. Pin again, he gon' knock out your fitted little buddy, say that he won't walk. I laugh and told him, count it up. Ayy, hey, the money, yeah, I add it up. Break down the work, then I go back it up. Ugh, these fuck nigga hating around in my city. West I know what a sniper be envy to an the fuck nigga creep. Cool assist in case you nigga won't heat. Not that my shit ain't nothing but killer. Uncle Cousins all on drug dealing the push go fly not no matter true. Fuck around and running up me some blue. I ain't stopping till I hit the top. I told all my nigga be patient. Can't wait till a nigga make it. The check the only thing I'm chasing. Can't even switch up on my brother. Same face in front of motherfucking junk. They be praying on my downfall, but fucking nigga know I'm still moving up. No competition with you average nigga. Keep the toilet, don't be at little nigga. You with the shit, start the capital little nigga. If I pull up, don't be lacking little nigga. My switch away, go bring the last of noodles. I was here tonight, look like Medusa. Fuck what don't make me have to come and do you. Fuck with the game, you know she can cross her, yeah. Hey. Straight up. Nah, yeah, nigga. Yeah. 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 Now we see it, you know, like Papa Duck is saying. Yeah, nigga. Some of these artists, they just mumble it. And, 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 and to touch on that is the social responsibility aspect of it. Yeah. You know, like Duck, like you 
understand that you have a following and right. people look to you and, right. and whether it's in good times or when they need to be comforted by one of your songs depending mm. on how they feel they can go to that for, to a, for a variety of reasons they look, go to your music right. and you also understand like which I've seen is like the social aspect of it exactly. you know there is a responsibility to anybody who has a voice whether it's you know, somebody even just in high school with a group of friends that can influence their friends, or somebody with like like you who has a following. Right. So if you could touch on that a little bit. Yes, that's that's true. You know what I'm saying? I wrote songs that I know wasn't the best to follow, but I also wrote just as much as you know on the other side of you know influential songs, uplifting right. songs. I don't have a, a, a predominant female fan base because I talk about sex, but it's more because I uplift them. Right. I got a lot of records. I got mama records. I got records. I, I mean, it ain't, you know, like you say, I feel like if you could follow me on this path, then you could follow me on that path. And, too, and so they've I been able to, myself. and also having your audience base grow with you. Exactly. You know, there's nothing wrong with having that song about sex. Right. Because we're all human yeah. beings. You know That's what I mean? We all, we're it. all going to go there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's also a path that you're on, and you're able to show them that there are other things, other and exactly. positivity also. Exactly. So that's what's up. We're going we gonna to keep the show going, but we got more with Papa Duck coming up. You are locked in right now to 98.5. The what? Quack, quack. The, the wire. wire. The wire. <laughs> hey, tell me this. Tell me this is one question I got to ask, man. So what's the matter? You ever wonder why all the promoters booking the same damn artists? Mm. Every time you look around, it's the same artists coming to the same club, to the same city. Talk to them. Why is that? What's, like, what's going on? Come on. What is it? What's the fucking problem? It's a major problem. We got to figure this shit out. Yeah. We need to break more artists, man. We need more artists to get out here and grind. We need more DJs to get behind more artists. We need everybody to turn the fuck up. Come on. Let's pipe it up. It's 2018 going into 2019. Let's get it, man. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the sauce. Okay, then. I'ma tell you like this, sir. If you ain't from Florida, my nigga, when a bitch say let run it, ain't no time to my going to the car, get your stick, let you go get your home, boy. Boy, you better be ready, boy. Bitch finna take off on you right now, boy. I'm to my for real. You can be in the church high, your mammy high, the jail high. Bitch, when you hear a nigga 